Hey guys, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Amazon Kane. I'm a writer, I obsess over Angela Anaconda, I do rewatch videos, that's what this is. My ultimate goal is to run an official reboot of the series. You can see what that would look like on my channel as I organized a small team to revamp the theme song. Honestly, now that it's December, and I already did the holiday specials a couple years ago, I wanted to bullshit my way into talking about it a little more, and one thing that does happen around the holiday season when we're not under lockdown are school pageants, school plays, winter plays. Here's an episode about a play. Two can play. Play. This was lost. <laughs> oh well. Everything about this morning was going great until Gordy came along and reminded us of something we didn't want to be reminded of. Hey, guess what today is? Swiss stick hash browns jiggly fruit. Oh, yeah, it's also the day Mrs. Brinks assigns parts for the school play. Oh, great. Another chance to play the back end of a donkey. That's the last <laughs> thing. Uh, she didn't have to remember any lies. Turning Angela into a oh, horse's ass. I wouldn't worry too much about being in the play. Once Brinks assigns roles to Nanette and her butt kiss club, there won't be any parts left. What play is it, anyway? It's called Miss Etiquette, the musical. Oh, I God. Fun to be in the play. I wouldn't mind being Sounds like something play. a guidance counselor Except wrote. Rehearsal and have it to sing. And people watching you. And try to walk around backstage in the dark. Oh, and wearing costumes. Wearing costumes is half the fun. I agree. I hope they're not made out of anything I'm allergic to. Like red. I mean, they could always do a production of Chicago. Oh, that way they can hate each other and it'll feel the performance. A sudden inexplicable bout of glaucoma? For your <laughs> that was a good line by Gina. For the fame that will be thrust upon me following my debut in the role of Miss Etiquette. You're so glamorous, I hardly recognized you. I don't even know who you are. Sure wish I didn't recognize her. Although... Texas Chainsaw Massacre? <laughs> yes, I love that. No, Indiana Jones that! Her face could have been melting! I guess that had to get past the censors somehow. It just means you're not as talented as the others. We'll start with the less significant roles. Josephine Braley, Ruby Blanche, the yammering dinner guest. Kathy May, you'll be Stella, the gum snapper. And Carlene Trainer and January Cole. Oh, their last names. Polite phone callers. And that is all. Hey, we didn't get picked. And neither did Nitty. Now, the lead role. Oh, boy. being a theater kid. I could see her being into it. She just has to get far, far away from Miss Brinks. Gina Lash will be our backstage manager, and Johnny Abati will try to offer it the lights. However, <laughs> just like in the theme song, he's got practice. Sorry, Johnny Abati. And understudying Nanette as Miss Etiquette in the unimaginable event of her indisposition, Angela huh? Anaconda. Huh? If our star should be too sick to perform, there are hmm. less talented understudies will step into their places. I better get into Yeah, but Angela's the lead of her very own show, so. Place, I'm going to be sick. Well, this is an awful lot to memorize if I'm not even going to need it. I don't know, Johnny Avati. Given Gordy's sickly nature and the fact that you are a frequent victim of bizarre circumstance, <laughs> I love how they casually mention all the abuse Johnny goes through. They're aware of how much he gets attacked by Angela and squirrels, mostly squirrels. Very good, Mr. Abati. You'll make an excellent understudy. Miss Anaconda, are you? And Jean's actually not too bad in this one. I have one right here, Mrs. Brakes. Angela, it is a world of unforeseeable possibility. Virtually anything could happen. You may wish to consider at least reading the script. Wow. It's good. 
Dang! Nasty poo is too much of a show off to ever miss This is Angela slacking off. Not to mention their video cameras. Besides, she's as healthy as a horse. <laughs> if that horse was Bojack Horseman. Also, Mark and Derek, why are they at the elementary school? Do they get held back a lot? They made her skin a little greener. They put sweat drops on her. Also, based on what that smoothie went through before with Coach Reinhardt, I don't trust it. But it's kind of nice that she is trying to help. Also, Nanette's probably trying to get Angela sick again. Whoa, Angela's... In that shot, her face was missing freckles. Places, everybody! The play starts in two minutes. How can a play starring Nanette Manoir start in two minutes? If Nanette Manoir isn't even here to star in it. Or he's not here either. Good thing I know my lines. Uh, oh, shit. Kinda. Good for you, maybe. But I have no idea what little Miss Nin Etiquette is supposed to do. If she doesn't show up, I'm in big trouble. She's fucked. Maybe Gordy and Nanette are driving together so they can rehearse on the way over. giving enough. <laughs> Miss Brinks is very funny in this one. Just because you wanted to be Miss Etiquette. But, but I, you burp and you slurp, you should be in a cage so 
Oh god, this is. <laughs> oh god. Gotta admire your improv skills, but. <laughs> oh, I like seeing them dressed up. Also, Mark or Derek. God held back a lot. Shut up, Nanette. That applause is for Angela. Cute. Yeah, nothing crazy. Yeah, nothing crazy. A cute episode. I like the environment. Yeah, that play is bad, but I think they could have had a little more fun with how bad it was. Push it a little further, but. You know, typical school plays written by a pretentious teacher or well-meaning guidance counselor, probably. Or probably a parent. It happens. I actually wonder, <laughs> first of all you have Angela nearly poisoning Nanette, which is very funny. But I think it's just that power smoothie that she tried to give Coach Reinhardt in Sound of Silence and it just didn't work and... Or maybe it actually did work and Annette's just being pretentious about it. That's another possibility, but I like to think... <laughs> I do find the idea of Angela inadvertently accidentally poisoning Annette very funny. Most likely she didn't. I the smoothie probably did work. I really like the fantasy sequence, even if it wasn't, you know, didn't, it wasn't very violent, and that's usually the thing I love so much. I really, really liked it because I liked the creativity, I love the crazy proportions, I love the weirdness of it, I love the photo collage look of it. It's, it was just really beautiful to look at and so interesting. I particularly thought January and Carlene Tied to the giant phone. That was hilarious. That was such a strange, odd visual. I liked the giant thermos, the crazy proportions. It was awesome. Visually, I really did like this one. I do like the idea a lot because I honestly feel that Angela would be somebody who's into theater and would be into that. I like her <laughs> crazy improv. I like that she is trying to get out of it. I like that she doesn't want to do it because it's Miss Brinks and Annette, and that's... Yeah, she's... And you get why she's slacking this time, because there's... She's just seen Annette get favored so much. Why should this be any different? The pacing is a little rushed. I honestly wonder if... With the show, there are times when there's a lot of good ideas and creative visuals, but the pacing a lot of times doesn't, you don't feel the emotions sink in the way you really could in other episodes. I don't know if it would have been better if, and I don't really know, I think some, I think maybe either keeping the focus in a certain place or maybe having it if it were 22 minutes, but I don't know, I feel like 11 minutes is the perfect amount of time for this, but the way it's written, it feels like the amount of plot that's crammed into some of these episodes, it feels like a 22 minute show. But sadly, the, it does come at the expense of the pacing. I, I still really like this. I still, Gina actually was surprisingly nice, helpful, and a stable voice of reason in this one. She wasn't... She had one food joke. But she actually was kind of nice to Angela and did, had a nice sweetness in her voice. Okay. I'm, more, please. More. Yes, make Gina a real character. I love that design of that stage. I like the design of the behind the scenes. I... Because it feels like a lot of elementary schools had a stage like that, something very small that was probably also in the cafeteria. Yep, they had 
you had your smaller stage or then you had the auditorium that was done for assemblies yeah that makes sense the way this school's designed i i like the small old-fashioned feel of it not a ton to say i think the strongest stuff in this episode are the creative visuals and also the idea of the location's a lot of fun it had some good lines in there. Cute, fun episode.